Wives, submit to your husbands. I did another video on this relatively recently, actually a while ago, um, and I talked about how one interpretation of that, of the word submit would actually be better translated devoted. And, and then just recently I discovered that that is actually how the Passion Translation translates it. So I was very excited to see that. And so I just wanted to read those verses out of the past Passion Translation, Ephesians 5, 21 through 24. And out of your reverence for Christ, be supportive of each other in love. For wives, this means be devoted to your husbands like you are tenderly devoted to our Lord. For the husband provides leadership for the wife, just as Christ provides leadership for his church as the savior and reviver of the body. In the same way, the church is devoted to Christ. Let the wives be devoted to their husbands in everything. And then 1 Peter 3, 1 through 2 is another passage that talks about usually translated wives submit to your husbands. Passion translation again. And now let me speak to the wives. Be devoted to your own husbands so that even if some of them do not obey the word of God, your kind conduct may win them over without you saying a thing. For when they observe your pure godly life before God, they will they will impact them deeply. So I was very excited to find that the Passion Translation translate it as be devoted rather than submit. Um, because I think within our culture, that word is, um, just doesn't convey the meaning that I think the, um, that Paul was meaning to convey. And I especially got that sense from talking to multiple men, actually, who were saying that, that guys don't, I mean, good guys, not, not controlling abusive guys, but good guys, I mean, they don't actually want wives that obey them. Or, um, but they want wives that are devoted to them, respectful, um, honoring, and but m mostly devoted, loyal. Um, so and and yeah, not yeah. So submission doesn't mean obey. And I think oftentimes when we hear hear the word submit, we think it means obey. So I was just excited to find that the Passion Translation translates it as devoted, which I think is a better translation of that passage.